Hey, what's up guys? Mike back with another video, and this is the unboxing of the BM800 by iGeek. Hey, what's up guys? Mike back with another video, and this is the unboxing of the BM800 by iGeek. So, let's take a look at this product. It's quite nice. The packaging looks fantastic. It does give off a nice, clean, uh, professional look about it. So, I've got no complaints there. And we'll see if this thing performs. So, the first thing that we find is the instruction guide. Uh, this is just a sheet of paper. I was expecting a little bit more. On one side, it's just full of Chinese letterings, uh, instructions, if you will. Uh, as you can see, it's quite clear. But if you flick it over, you've got the uh, mandatory English instructions and it'll give you a quick little guide on spe uh, specification, frequency and response graph and usage. Now it goes on about this product does need a 48 watt phantom power supply. So guys, let's take a look at the actual microphone itself. Yeah, that, that you know what, it does look quite nice. It looks, it's quite weighty as well, I'm impressed. I didn't actually expect it to be this heavy. I mean like the yeah, material on the top, as you can see, the uh, chromed out little part. That is, uh, I believe, uh, steel, and the uh, body of the microphone is zinc alloy. Here's the XLR input, and yeah, I mean, like, the uh, mesh part looks really nice. Got a bit of chrome, and there's this uh, orange rim around it, and then you've got the iGeek logo, and it'll say the BM800 on the bottom. Yeah, I've got no complaints about the quality of the microphone itself. This matte finish feels really nice as well. Usually, you find cheap, nasty plastic shock mounts with some of these. Now, this thing, I can tell you again, you can feel the weight while I'm trying to open it. And I've got a good feeling that this is going to be a full steel shock mount. So, as I feel this buckle here, it's got this little adjuster clip. So, this can uh, pivot the uh, shock mount back and forth. And let's see if the, yeah, there you go. That's what I was looking for. So this is the little uh, grub that goes into there. Correct the size basically, and it will fit onto a standard microphone arm. So taking a closer look at this thing, the microphone just, let's see if it fits first, because sometimes you have to squeeze these things in and it's not a great fit. So there you go, that works absolutely fine. We also get a nice chunky pop filter. You have to usually stretch these over the top and let's just get it on. It, it's nothing special, it's pretty standard, but it is quite thick. And last but not least, we get our uh, XLR cable. So the XLR end will go into the base of the microphone. I'm pretty sure, there's no point in reading it, I'm pretty sure you're going to need a phantom power supply to actually get the best you know, performance out of this mic. So, I mean, there's no harm in me uh, plugging this XLR in into the bottom of the microphone and plugging in the 3.5mm jack onto, like, uh, if you've got a decent motherboard, maybe you can... Uh, get a better improvement on the audio but the whole idea of these microphones is it needs to be fed the correct power without the correct power the audio is going to sound crap and it'll be distorted and you'll hear the crackling noise so yeah if you haven't got a phantom power supply you can pick one up for about 10 15 uh, pounds on amazon so it's not that expensive but the as you can see like when you plug it in the microphone looks cool i mean like for the price of this microphone the link as i say will be in the video description it's really nice and uh, yeah, so the cable fits absolutely fine. It's got a little click lock, and that's what it will look like when you have it off coming off your mic arm. So yeah, let's. Uh, that's about it. So let's check out how this thing performs. So this is what the microphone sounds like without the uh, power supply, the phantom power supply. This is basically the XLR cable into the PC, and you know what? The audio is going, the pitch is going up and down. It's going whoa whoa. Um, but this is not a reflection on the microphone. Now, if I move the microphone away from myself, you can see that there is still good pickup. Now, if this microphone was to receive extra power, it'd be a lot better. Now, I can uh, angle it up, and you can understand, the, you know, it might pick up a different pitch, and it's going to be a little bit different. So if I had it mounted onto a microphone arm at this angle, which is usually what they are like, so this is what the audio sounds like here. This is what the audio sounds like directly in front. This is what it sounds like towards the right and towards the left. Um, you can also have the microphone held in your hand and this is what it would sound like. So if I sit back down here, this is picking it all up on the PC. So, what are my final thoughts? Back to the good microphone. Now this thing, there is nothing wrong with it. The build quality is superb. The uh, metal shock mount was fantastic. It's adjustable as well. The XLR cable was a good quality. Now what I will say is, if you don't own a phantom power supply, 
be sure to buy one or if you're not prepared to buy one then go with a USB microphone or something else. Uh, the Blue Snowball is a great mic, the Samsung Go mic is a great mic if you're on a budget. So guys as always if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.